I'd like to call Maria Olga Kokornacic uh, from Society uh, for Cancer Research, Switzerland. Thank you, Leonie, for this introduction. Yes. yes, I will talk about patterns which appear in evaporating droplets because that's my main topic on, of investigation. <laughs> First, I would like to start from a small um, degradation because um, I want to show you on uh, two examples what we uh, expect from shaking a solution. So in um, homeopathic liquid uh, pharmaceutical products, we um, shake a solution um, in a very defined manner. And um, it is said that this shaking is increasing the, um, the remedy's power, the action, the action of the remedy. Whereas in the conventional um, liquid pharmaceutical products, we also have a mechanical influence on the solution because it's impossible to produce and um, to distribute um, a liquid solution without succussing it. Only this um, mechanical impact in this case is unwanted because uh, through aggregation of molecules and oxidation and uh, particle formation, it can decrease the therapeutic in power of the molecules. So we have um, two opposite views on the succussion. In the, in the homeopathic basic research, the low dilutions are not studied that often as, a, as high dilutions. I think it's mainly because, um, because of um, the fact that um, high dilutions seem to be a more interesting topic because um, they are not, um, they don't have um, material inside. So, so the action is like um, um, unexpected from the um, mainstream science, from the view of the mainstream science. Um, however, in the conventional, our colleagues from the conventional science do study low dilutions because of this unwanted um, mechanical influence. And we have very many articles. I would like to um, invite you to have a look um, on the uh, impact of succussion, for instance, on, uh, on different protein solution, the um, interaction between surfaces and succussion, and also the funny thing is they are studying how to inhibit the, the um, um, the dynamization, the, the, the shaking influence through different kinds of coatings of the vessels. I think we can, we can gain very much information from these articles. In this particular study, we have tested wherever uh, through the uh, study of structures which appear in evaporating droplets, we can see the um, influence of succussion. In particular, we analyzed the Echinacea 2X solution, Baptisia 3X, Baptisia 4X, Lufa 4X, and Sponja 6X. We have chosen these five potencies basing on a um, previous study, which um, there was a poster yesterday, maybe you have seen. If not, the study is also um, as accessible in the homeopathy journal. And also, um, we wanted to have potencies <coughs> which are present in, on the market in uh, Hebert Arzneimittel um, complex med um, medicines. How did we prepare the potencies? We had the 1x potency from each of these remedies and the potentization was made by hand in the ratio 1 to 10 and the, um, the succussion was um, performed by hand by strokes in the air and the next dilution step was conducted when the form disappeared. 
The droplets of each potency were placed on a microscope slide. In the chamber we have 12 microscope slides placed in this order. So each of the three variants of each potency was placed on uh, four slides. Now I explain what I mean. So these are the slides in the chamber and the 100 which are red, 10 which are yellow and 0 which are white uh, slides represent the places in the chamber where the three different variants of each potency was put on. The 100 times succussed variant, the 10 times succussed variant and the unsuccussed only diluted variant. We performed also a positive control experiment where only 10 times succussed samples were put on slides and they were analyzed exactly in the same randomization um, design as the VEDOM experiment. The experiment was repeated three times on three different days and in total we had um, 4026 images. Here you can have a view in my laboratory, so this is the evaporation chamber Inside we have a plexiglass inner chamber. The um, slides with the droplets are put in the inner chamber and the um, humidity and temperature is controlled. After the evaporation is finished, the residues of the droplets are analyzed under an optical microscope and we photograph the images. As you can imagine with more than 4,000 images, uh, um, visual evaluation is not possible, so we perform a computer um, supported evaluation. I think we have too much lights here, but um, these are examples of patterns of Echinacea 2X. Baptisia 3X you can see better. As you can see, the, um, from Leonie's side is the unsarcast sample and the both here from this side are 10 and 100 times sarcast. As you can see, the unsarcast seems to be more complex. Baptisia 4X did not um, give so beautiful patterns, however, we analyzed them the same. Lufa 4X gave um, some fractal patterns, but already s uh, small structures because it's already, uh, there is already not so much matter inside. And the Sponja 6X gave patterns which actually are similar to those of pure water. What we do is um, we analyze the gray level distribution, some textural parameters and fractal, fractal parameters of the patterns and um, they can give us the idea of um, what is the disorder or order of the pattern, how is the size of the structure and how is the structure's complexity. In particular we had, we analyzed the entropy, the gray level distribution, the foreground pixel, the local connected fractal dimension and the lacunarity parameter. The analysis was performed with um, program image J and, um, and after um, this analysis the data was submitted to statistical analysis with a two-way ANOVA with independent, um, independent factors. So here I will present now uh, three different examples of a possible result out of, out of this analysis. In this in this particular example, here you have um, the lacunarity parameter. It says something about the complexity of the gaps between the crystals. The red line represents the lacunarity for the 100 times succussed sample, the yellow line for the 10 times succussed sample, the blue line for, for the unsuccussed sample. As an and as you can see here, all these samples differed in the statistical analysis. This is the same experiment, well, the same experimental design performed only with the 10 times sarcast samples, but analyzed as 
the Verum experiment. And you can see, as expected, there are no differences. Therefore, this result is for us uh, um, stable. And uh, because all the different, all the three variants could be significantly dif differentiated, we have two green arrows. The next type of result is when only one variant differs significantly from the other two variants. And then you can see one green arrow. As also, it can happen that uh, one of the sarcast sample differs significantly from the other two, but the unsarcast and one of the sarcast don't differ between each other. And then you have a yellow arrow. So here in this table you can see our five remedies and here are the parameters. In two of the samples, all in two cases, all variants could be significantly differentiated. In 44% uh, of cases, the unsarcast variant could be significantly differentiated from the two sarcast variants. And in three cases, there was a difference between one of the sarcast variants from the other two. However, in 64% uh, of cases, there was a significant difference. In most cases, the succussion caused a decrease of the uh, structure's complexity and it increased the gaps between the crystalline branches. Other possible applications of the here presented protocol is the comparison of um, different potentization maniers comparison of subsequent potencies of the same substance, comparison of different batches of mother tinctures, research on complex potencies and on the influence of their single components on the pattern. It is important to uh, work further on the um, pattern um, evaluation methods and also uh, to uh, um, enhance the evaporation conditions and the experimenting, experimenting protocol because this is a very sensitive approach. And um, the findings which I present here will be published soon. Thank you. <laughs>